friends welcome back so today we are going to talk about abcd parameters so as discussed in the previous video i have said in order to get abcd parameter y parameter you need to first calculate z parameter so let us start with finding out the z parameter so i have i have to find abcd parameter i will my approach will be to find out the z parameter first okay so let us start as you can see this network i have to determine abcd parameter so this uh, you can draw it like this delta it is in delta fashion okay so we'll draw this part like this it is a delta your i2 here this is i1 this is 1 ohm this is 2 ohm 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistor okay so uh, i have drawn this uh, i have connected this two terminals over here because and then we got a delta now from this delta we will make star to make star you draw like this I will convert it into star so let us uh, assume this is r1 this is my r2 and this is my r3 now how to calculate the values of r1 r2 r3 let us find out so r1 is equal to now note that i am uh, converting a delta to a star so let's do r1 is equal to simple trick is 1 into 2 that is 2 upon sum of the resistor 2 plus 2 4 and here 5 2 by 5 r1's value r2 value will be see this where is r2 look at r2 opposite resistance multiply them 2 to the 4 and sum of the resistance 1 2 and 2 that is gives me 5 so 4 by 5 now let's talk about resistor 3 r3 value this is my r3 it is between 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistor so 1 into 2 is gives me 2 and addition of all the register will give me 5 so 2 by 5 perfect so i calculated the values now i will simply draw this uh, circuit again now remember i am i will draw what is this star okay your circuit will look like this okay so here it is i1 here it is one ohm resistor and this is the value of r1 r1 i calculated to be 2 upon 5 that is 2 by 5 this is my r2 value which is 4 by 5 write it properly r3 value is 2 by 5 okay i have written down the values in my figure now as you can see this resistor and this resistor i can consider them to be in series so just 1 plus 2 upon 5 that will be my series value so let us calculate this value which will be 7 by 5 okay so let me just redraw this circuit over here uh, let's take this uh, how to record this i also don't know let let me record this resistance resistance and this resistance okay so you get one plus two uh, this is i got seven by five okay 7 by 5, 5 by 5, 5 by 5, 7 by 5, right, perfect. And this is your uh, 2 by 5 value and this is your 4 by 5. Okay, I got these values. I will properly write I1, I will properly write I2 over here, plus minus V1, plus minus V2, the voltage. So, as you can see, we are done with the reduction part and all now we have to apply kvl i will assume i a over here i b over here that that is our regular step 
that we had did for y parameter and z parameters. So let us write the equation 7 upon 5 i a plus 4 by 5 i a minus i b uh, equals to voltage source. It is going from negative to positive, so positive. So 7, point, uh, 7 by 5 i a plus 4 by 5 i a minus 4 by 5 i b will be equal to v1 so let us add the i a values so denominator is same so 7 plus 4 will give you 11 so 11 by 5 i a minus 4 by 5 i b okay so 4 by 5 i b equal to v1 now focus here i a value equal to i1 so 11 by 5 i1 so ib value is my negative i2 i will write it uh, for your reference this is ia value will be equal to i1 ib value equal to minus i2 because the direction is opposite okay so ib is minus i2 i will substitute ib as minus i2 over here so minus minus plus so plus 4 by 5 i2 will come okay equal to v1 I got this equation okay standard equation v, uh, v1 equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 comparing we will get the value of z11 to be 11 by 5 z12 to be 4 by 5 you got the values of z perfect similarly you need to apply kvl to mesh 2 so let us do this quickly kvl to mesh 2 now let us 4 by 5 IB minus IA then your plus 2 by 5 that is IB is equals to V2 minus V2 okay so let us quickly do this calculations 4 by 5 IB minus 4 by 5 IA plus 2 by 5 IB will give you minus of V2 perfect now you can see IB IB you do the required condition 4 plus 2 is 6 by 5 ib minus 4 by 5 ia okay equal to minus v2 oh, okay so let us substitute ia is minus uh, ia is i1 so let us write i1 uh, here it will be minus 6 by 5 i2 is equal to minus v2 no change now we'll multiply uh, both the side with a negative sign so I will get 4 by 5 I1 uh, plus 6 by 5 I2 is equal to V2 I will compare this equation with my standard equation and we will get the uh, okay I think I will take another notebook To continue the rest of the part okay so we'll continue the rest of the part uh, in the next notebook so as you can see we got uh, i1 value i2 value equal to v2 so we now have standard value z21 value we are we will get let's keep this like this okay now it's it is absolutely perfect z21 value i am getting as 4 by 5 and z22 value i have got it 6 by 5 okay you got the value of z now you make the table of z for z parameters z11 z12 z21 and z22 you write the values z11 i got it from here 11 by 5 i will write it over here this is z12 4 by 5 i will write it over here 4 by 5 now you have z21 over here 4 by 5 and you over here 6 by 5 i have just written it in a proper z manner i got the z parameter now believe me abcd parameter i have to find out the value of abcd parameter so let us find out the values for abcd parameter just simply draw this a b c d and then you need to remember the formula okay it's very easy yeah so you remember this formula I'm giving you now Z11 upon Z21 for A 
for z12 you write z12 upon z22 perfect for c you write 1 upon z21 for d you write z22 upon z21 this is your required formula for abcd parameter now you just do the calculations and you are all set z11 see the value of z11 11 by 5 upon 4 by 5 you just do this and you will get this value so let so let us do this 11 by 5 okay 11 by 5 on 11 by 5 and it's again a division of 4 by 5 so what we'll get is it is having 44 by 25 is it correct let me just cross check it over here this is my 11 by 5 and uh, I will take 4 by 5 so let's take 4 by 5 uh, no it is divide so 5 by 4 so 5 by 11 by 4 okay it will be 11 by 4 so this is your value as you can see now let us find z12 4 by 5 divided by 6 by 5 4 by 5 6 by 5 you just reverse it 5 by 6 5 5 cancel 4 by 6 uh, 2 by 3 will get 2 by 3 okay just simplify it okay uh, not a big deal 1 upon z1 uh, 1 upon z21 this is z21 over here 4 by 5 so it will be 1 upon 4 by 5 I will write 1 into 5 by 4 so it will be 5 by 4 over here okay so simple simple calculations are very simple d for d you write z22 you can see z22 value means 6 by 5 i will write i will calculate it roughly 6 by 5 and z21's value i have got it as uh, 4 by 5 so i will just uh, invert it 5 by 4 5 5 cancel 6 by 4 3 by 2 will get so here you go this is your final a b c d value a b c d this is your final a b c d value i hope you got this sum and that's all from my side thank you so much for watching this video i hope you like this till then have a great day bye bye take care Ciao.